Welcome back to KSNT News. The time is 6.51. Let's get right into your morning rush. Fire crews are looking into uh, a house fire they say was intentionally set at a vacant home in southeast Topeka near 26 and California Avenue. Here is video of firefighters on the scene around 2.30 this morning. Crews tell KSNT they saw flames in the front room of the home. They were able to put them out quickly. We're told no one was inside the home at the time of the fire, and the estimated loss is around $10,000. Firefighters immediately say the fire was suspicious since all utilities were off in the home. This morning, K State officials are investigating two acts of vandalism targeting minorities on campus. On Friday, a structure celebrating Sukkot, a Jewish holiday, was found torn down and wrapped around an organizer's car. Yesterday, a hateful, homophobic message was found written near the K State Student Union. According to our records, these instances come after two other discriminatory actions at the university in recent months. In the meantime, today, superintendents from six area schools will sit down to talk about the current state of education. They will focus on the opportunities and the challenges facing public schools in Topeka and Shawnee County districts. If you are interested in being a part of the conversation, head on over to the Topeka Civic Theater at 1130. Today, former state representative Ed O'Malley is officially launching his campaign for governor. He'll announce in several locations, including Manhattan's Triangle Park at 1 this afternoon. If the rain becomes a problem, the announcement will be moved indoors to Varsity Donuts. This morning, there are 18 candidates running for governor so far. A heads up for drivers as you get on the road today. For about two hours today, traffic will be down to one lane in each direction on Topeka Boulevard. That's just off of I-470, which you're seeing on this map here. Crews will be working on the intersection in that part of town starting at 10 this morning. They plan to finish up around noon.